I remember the idea date was around December 20th. Because I remember that was the night when I actually, um, I actually woke up and this idea became very real. Uh, I actually started getting cardboard from my other room, took a knife from the kitchen, started cutting it up, and actually started to see, could a folding structure actually be made? And I'm not an engineer. I'm not an architect. I actually have never built a house in my life. I'm actually a digital guy. <laughs> so this was actually the first structure I ever built. From Your that, first attempt work? No, the, what happened was uh, I, I sat there on December 20th, three days straight, I started designing this thing, just to see. And there's one thing that I knew. I knew that the concept of a folding house, nobody would believe it unless they saw it. So after those three days, I took a small place in Angona Rizal, a small little space, and just started building this thing. Before the new year was over, between Christmas and New Year's, I was building this prototype. The thing is, a problem with the tent cities that were built in uh, Tacloban, for instance, yes. um, was that they're heavily susceptible to the elements still. Yes. How does your folding house, or how does the butterfly house stand up to the elements? Is it a really a long-term housing solution? We have it in two stages. So for example, the concept of the butterfly house at its core is to be a quick disaster response solution. So for example, like I said, we can take two trucks, load up uh, 30 houses, and 30 families will get houses right away. Now, the structure in itself has two materials. It's made of steel, and it's made of recycled sachets as our paneling, which is fireproof and waterproof. Now, what's important about that is because it's a plastic aluminum structure. It means that this thing won't degrade. It won't rot. It won't, it'll, it'll stand the test of time. And structurally, we have actually already survived typhoons. So we already know that compared to other structures, we're extremely stable. I understand some countries have also inquired about this uh, yes. design of yours. As a matter of fact, uh, in uh, 2014, which was the year of the Yolanda rebuilding, uh, there was a lot of viral uh, communication about our product and around eight countries and over had, had, had over 20,000 requests. I say requests because we couldn't fulfill the orders because there was so we, we were just starting out. Uh, next year we actually have an ambition. We actually have selected a potential of providing these houses to the Syrian refugees. So really building the whole ecosystem around it. We actually have a number of other technologies around the butterfly house. So for example, uh, we have air to water systems that are, that are coming in. Uh, we have solar systems that are being innovated, designed for the house. So the, one of the coolest things that I can um, hope to show in the next, uh, in the next uh, few months is a house that can be dropped in the middle of nowhere that can actually have water and power uh, already provided.